Welcome to this video. This show the Agent Keeper project um, started by me, Flop Flop, in November 2011. I'm working at University of Hamburg for this project. Now we have January, and I totally opened the code to make this an open source project. And we're looking for people who want to work together with us on this project. So, this should be a game like Agent Keeper, uh, Dungeon Keeper, <laughs> the name from this project is Agent Keeper. Um, who don't know, um, uh, Dungeon Keeper, um, it's a game where you play an evil guard or something inside a dungeon and um, you have to expand your dungeon. Um, by uh, destroying walls like here by mark them and the workers automatically destroy the walls for you but you cannot control the workers or the monsters here if they're monsters from you directly um, by extending the dungeon the workers also automatically claim the ground for you like now he did you can see the ground counter here, the more ground you claimed, the more uh, mana you gain. Mana is important later in the game for spell casting. Uh, you can build uh, with, uh, you can harvest the gold with your workers, which is not working yet in this game, <laughs> but we will make it work soon. And then you can uh, use this money, this gold, saved here or close here to your dungeon heart um, um, when this gold is saved you have more gold here and you can build buildings with the buildings um, you can attach or uh, make the dungeon interesting for new creatures like now we just load some monsters here all this like you have two workers now <laughs> One worker is just dancing around. He's a little bit buggy. Uh, six goblins, three wizards, and seven trolls. So all these monsters. You start normally with zero monsters and just some workers. And you have to collect gold and build buildings to make the dungeon interesting for the monsters. And when it's interesting enough, they will enter your dungeon through this uh, portal. You can see in the right corner of the screen always you can always see what you select with your mouse. So this is training room, this is portal, this is dungeon heart, this is in thief, this is a uh, troll, this is a warlock, another troll and so on. This is lair, this is the place where your monsters sleep, this is hatchery, they produced some chickens. The chickens not ready yet. They still need animation um, and some basic uh, control, like walking around or ticking and making some funny sounds. But they're eaten by the um, monsters when they are hungry. This is a training room. Um, they can train to get more power, more uh, skills more health points, more damage, because later you have to fight against the heroes. Because you're evil, of course, you have to kill the heroes. They will attack you later, or you have to attack them. So you should prepare your dungeon with enough monsters to fight them. Um, this game is written in Java, and we use the open source JMonkey engine for rendering. So this is all uh, JMonkey engine. It's also Java and it's pretty amazing. I like the style. The the possibilities of this nice engine. Okay, we have some particular meter like here. I make some fork effect uh, here too or in the claim. This also affects. Then we have some nice water with some mirror effects. 
you can see some reflections in the water and some uh, kind of sun you can see the ma waves here moving um, they have some shiny effects of course we have animations for all the monsters and we have this uh, minimap it's just another viewport you can see at return rotate the camera the minimap is rotating too um, and the keys are with VASD or arrow keys I can move the screen with mouse I can select by clicking what next to do for the workers later you can change here what you want to do later build buildings but it's not implemented yet um, you can rotate the camera by pressing the middle mouse button and zoom in and out by the mouse wheel okay that is about the game this is the status uh, in beginning of January and we're looking for people who want to help the project so if you're interested in Java developing or like Java coding or have experience with the JMonkey engine or you're interested artist who uh, like to use some of his models in this game so everyone is welcome to help the project even if you're not an artist or have no idea about programming you're uh, invited to our forum to uh, give us new input and feedback which kind of features you like to see uh, how you like the arts uh, which parts you don't like which parts you like which parts you're missing and so on so I will officially invite you to join the community I will post a link to the forum in the description and then we maybe see us later working together on this small project. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you like the game. <laughs> you understand everything that I said. And I will recommend you to try out our level editor. I explain that in another video so you can uh, make levels by your own. The you can put buildings there and monsters, everything. I explained this in another video. Maybe this is a good start for you. But uh, I will uh, love to see you in the forum. So uh, that's for this video. See you online or maybe in other videos. Okay, bye.